Hi guys, welcome to the kickoff of season 10 of Main Meister's High Score Kerfuffle. This season we'll be wrapping up our progress through the alphabet, continuing where we left off with the letter S. Before we find out what our first game of the season is, let's review our Champions Choice game that we've had for the last two weeks. That game was a choice from me after taking the season win and was Llamatron on the Atari ST. I chose it as I'd not played it before, and whilst it is a decent version of Robotron, I'd much rather play the arcade original. I was playing on the Mister, which was nice, and it made configuring the two sticks not too bad, although it was a little finicky. Two sticks definitely help, compared to the lock-on mechanic that's implemented here with one stick, and it's actually used in other home ports of twin stick games such as Smash TV on the Sega Mega Drive. It doesn't work too bad, but I do prefer the twin sticks. Let's take a quick look at the scores before we move on to our first game of the new season. Often between seasons things are a little bit quieter, and setting things up on different systems can put people off too. We only had 4 scores put in for Llamatron, myself and Robert were pretty close at around 200,000 points, and then both Colin and Milthy were close too at around 400,000 points. But ultimately it was Milthy taking the win by a nose. This wraps up season 9, which whilst not a classic season, was far from terrible. We had a higher representation of puzzle and oddball games, which certainly played in my favour. So let's now move on to our first game of Season 10. For our first game of the season, we kick off with the letter S. There is a rich theme of games here, with many good options, and I've had 10 suggestions sent to me. The only game to get multiple selections is Smash TV, from both me and Bob. Our winner of our final game of last season was My Retro Tech, so his choice of Shadow Dancer is trebled, giving it a 25% chance of appearing. So for the first time this season, let's set the selector going and see what we get. There we go, slowing down. Okay, it's either going to be Smash TV or Tick Over. No, nope, it looks like it's going to be Smash TV. Um, great choice. I mean, we've just had uh, Llamatron as a, a kind of twin stick uh, shooter. Smash TV being kind of the sequel uh, to Robotron. Um, yeah, I think this is a great, great one to, to kick off the season. Um, I'll go make a video and be back in a sec. So our first game of the season is the twin stick shooter Smash TV, released by Williams in 1990. This is another Eugene Jarvis game and builds on the Robotron concept, now set in a dystopian game show where you mow down enemies using a variety of weapons. Hilariously, the game is set in the distant future of 1999. The power-ups are probably the main differentiator from Robotron, along with the increased complexity of the stages, now with mines and other hazards to thwart you. The key thing about this game is the gameplay is on point, as you'd expect from Williams. I'm looking forward to playing this, I think it'll be a good one. For anyone new, the rules are in the description, but basically send me your scores, with some evidence if you're in the higher places, a picture is fine, and don't cheat. Auto fire? and pausing is fine though. For next time, please send me your game suggestions beginning with the letter T. I have no issue with submissions starting with the, but without that, there's still plenty to choose from. I'll likely be going with Tapper, but there is Tatsujin if you fancy a shmup, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles for a beat em up, Toki for a platformer, and we've never had a Tetris game in the competition. We've already had Tiger Heli, Twin Eagle, and Terra Cresta. So I hope you all enjoy playing some Smash TV, and I'll be back in a couple of weeks with the scores. See you then.